Hi, welcome to Three Things Thursday with Robert Hertel. So here we are a week before Thanksgiving, which means that if you're listening to crappy brokers or crappy agents, there's really no more reason to work for the rest of the year in real estate, right? But we know different. We're on this video. We're making our calls. We're out there prospecting. We're out there previewing because we know that there's still business to be had out there, right? We know that it's an exciting time because all those other agents that are going, oh, you know, it's Thanksgiving next week, and then after that, it's Christmas. There's no reason to be working at this time of year. We're going, good, good, yes, yes. You know what, I agree. You should not be working, that's right. And by you not working, I'll make sure that I'm out there prospecting, talking to your past client centers of influence, making sure that they're okay. And making sure that if they have referrals, I'll make sure to take care of those as well. Yeah, you go ahead and take that time off. I'll take care of all that for you, right? Because we know that deals are still being made every single day. Actually, as a matter of fact, before we get into what I want to talk about today, my company, we have 10 offices. In those 10 cities, just the 10 cities, not the surrounding areas, just those 10 cities in October, just October, 1,290 homes closed escrow, okay? 1,290 in just those 10 cities in just October. Now, we know there's two sides to every transaction, so we're talking almost 2,600 sides closed just last month in just those 10 cities, let alone the surrounding area, because we know that you'll go outside of those cities just to get a deal. So I don't want to hear that deals are not being made right now. They are being made. The numbers show it. So we have to stay aggressive, be active, get out there, and make it happen. And you know what, I'll share an actual little story with you. Because I've been telling you, oh, your competition dies down. I got proof. I met with a gal the other day, and she told me that she was frustrated with her broker because she just got her license, she just joined the company, and her broker told her, you know what, you might as well not even start till January, nobody does anything this time of year, so just whatever. That's what her broker told her. She's frustrated. She wants to get some business and get going. Her broker told her that. God, it's hard enough to get agents to work. And if the broker's telling you that, that's your competition, people. I've been telling you that for months. And now you know this is real. This really happened. So get out there. Be aggressive. Go after those companies, people. And be like, wow, let's go ahead and make that happen. So that's really what's going on out there. So it's a great time. We know the numbers. People are still buying and selling homes. We know people are taking time off. Brokers are even telling their agents, yeah, don't worry about it. We'll start training again in January. That's what's going on out there. You should be excited and go out there and take advantage of that, okay? So here's what I want to jump into. Enough of that rant. Here's what I want to jump into today. Today's theme is just do something, okay? Whatever it is, just do something. We get in this rut, well, if I can't do it, then I might as well not do it at all. If I can't do all of it, I might as well do nothing, okay? That's not the case. Do something. So I went over three things that fall into this category of the do something, okay? Anything, just do something. Three categories to really make a commitment for the last month and a half of the year to say, no, I'm gonna make sure to do this. I'm not gonna fall into the category that if I can't do all of it, I'm gonna do none of it, okay? Do something, do something, all right? So, so let's jump into this, all right? Here it is, do something for the last month and a half of the year. Don't fall into that trap of if I don't, do all of it, I might as well not do any of it, okay? So here we go, so number one. We always say, especially Neil Schwartz, you follow Neil Schwartz, one of my mentors, he always says preview five homes a day. Now, we're also well aware that most of you don't preview five homes a day. Now, I'm not gonna get into why previewing is so important, okay? We've done that in other calls, and I'll do that in future calls, but you should be previewing homes. But we have agents that go, well, I can't preview five homes a day for X reason, or I can't preview five today, so I just won't preview any at all. Okay, if you can't preview five homes, do something. Preview two, okay, preview three. Imagine if you just previewed two homes a day. Five days a week, that's 10 homes a week. Let's say you did that for 40 weeks, that's 400 homes you would preview a year. If you previewed 400 homes a year, would you be more knowledgeable about the market than other agents? Of course you would. 
You would know what's going on. You'd have more market knowledge, which would help your clients. You'd have more confidence in yourself. Plus, every so often, you bump into someone when you preview a property, a neighbor or anything along those lines. Hey, what's going on? What's happening over there? All of a sudden, you now have a new client, maybe a listing. That actually just happened last week with one of our agents. Met someone they were after they were done previewing, and they talked to them, did a listing appointment, actually took a listing. So if you can't do five, do two. Do something, right? Just do something, you know? Let's say your goal is 30 contacts. Well, I couldn't make 30 contacts today. So, you know, I'll just go do something else. Well, do something. Go make 20. Go make 15. You know, do something, right? Do a little bit. You know, your goal is 30 contacts a day. You couldn't do it. Well, what if you did 20? Five days a week, that's 100. That's 4,000 a year. God, if you talk to 4,000 people, you're bound to find someone who's looking to buy or sell real estate, right? So go out there and talk to them. You know, make the contacts, do that. Um, you know, I can't role play 30 minutes today, okay? Or, God, it's really hard for me to role play 30 minutes a day. We'll, we'll do 15, okay? You, you're seeing the trend here, right? That, well, I can't do all of it, so I'll do none of it, okay? Do something, do a little bit, because a little bit continuously adds up, okay? I can't do three hours, well, I'll do an hour. You know, I can't do 30 contacts, we'll do 20, okay? I can't do 30 minutes practice, do 50, I mean, do something, you know? Because a little bit adds up and gets you better and better, but by doing none of it, you don't actually stay flat, you actually get worse, right? Lou Holtz says you're either getting better or you're getting worse, you don't stay neutral. So by saying, well, I guess I'll do none of it, you're actually getting worse because your market knowledge goes down because new homes are hitting the market every day. So if you're not up-to-date previewing, you actually know less about the market. If you're not practicing every day, your skill set actually goes down because you're not staying fresh, right? So do something to at least move forward a little bit, all right? So, so that's the thing. And understand also that it doesn't mean you have to do everything in one sitting, you know? Well, you know, my prospecting is from 9 to 12, but, you know, I can't, I can't, hit, I can't, I can't do it from 9 to 12. You know, I got X things happening. And I'm not going to get into the whole schedule thing, right? But, you know, I got to be somewhere at 11. So... I'm only gonna do from nine to 11 today. So I'm only gonna do two hours. Okay, great, well you could do two hours separate. What are you doing from one to two? Well, I'm not doing anything. Great, then make up your other hour there, okay? Well, I can only do nine to 10 prospecting this morning. Okay, great, so that's an hour. What are you doing from 12 to one? Nothing, there's another hour. What are you doing from three to four? Nothing, there's another hour. So you could still get your three hours in. Maybe it's just spread out throughout the day. But you can still do it just because you, you know, I'm blocked off from 9 to 12 and you couldn't make it doesn't mean you have to give up the whole day on it. Find the other times to make it up throughout the day. You know, my goal is to get 30 contacts for lunch. Well, I got 25. Well, I guess I won't make the other five contacts. Well, you know, you can make the other five after lunch. That's okay. That's legal. I just want to make sure we're aware of that, you know. So it doesn't have to be everything in one city. Okay. I hope that makes sense for you. You can still accomplish everything throughout the day. Okay? Even if it has to break it up a little bit. So, but you just, if you can't do everything, do something, even if it's a little bit at a time. Okay? Um, you know, and that kind of breaks into the second thing is that every little bit adds up. And I talked about that a little bit. You know, if you had one day a week where you just did nothing, well, I can't do all of it, so I'm going to do nothing. That means that day you had zero hours, zero contacts, zero leads, zero appointments, zero closing, zero dollars made. By sitting there going, I didn't, I couldn't do all of it, so I did none of it. Now just imagine, let's use prospecting for an example. Your goal was three hours for the day. And you're like, well, I can't do all of it because I have XX and XO, I just do none of it. Well, could you have squeezed in an hour? Could you have squeezed in one hour? Maybe. Let's say you just squeezed in that one hour for that one day, right? And that happened continuously over the course of a year for say 40 weeks of working. That would be an extra 40 hours of prospecting that you would get a year, let's say that's 400 contacts, let's say you generate an additional eight leads out of it, maybe a couple of appointments, another closing, depending on your market here in Southern California, that's another 10, 15, $20,000. By making sure you're squeezing in that extra one hour a day, instead of saying, well, I did zero, could I squeeze in an hour? Yeah, I could, then get the hour in. That little bit adds up to potentially a 15, $20,000 paycheck, is that okay with you? instead of a zero, by just that one hour. And I imagine all of us, if we're doing a complete be honest, I get it, things come up and you say, look, and I'm not gonna be able to do all three hours today. 
Very, 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 very rarely does something come up or should come up unless we're just making excuses where we can't at least squeeze in something. Okay, maybe if I really can't get three hours today, maybe I can get one. <coughs> Excuse me, okay? I hope that makes sense. You get that little bit. It adds up a little bit every day, okay? And then the third thing I put in there is the consistency is more important than bulk, okay? Well, my goal was, you know, 20 contacts a day, five days a week. Well, I couldn't do, I can't, I'm not gonna be able to prospect four days this week, so I'll just make 100 on one day. It's not the same. It's not the same, okay? 20 contacts a day, five days a week, is better than one day with 100 contacts. It just is, okay? It's the consistency of it that makes it better, right? So don't fall into that of going, well, you know, it's okay, I'll just make it up the next day, I'll make it up the next day, I'll double up, I'll quadruple up the next day. It's the consistency of it. So that's why we have to make sure our schedule's tight and we find those little pockets every day. Maybe it's an hour, maybe it's two hours. Maybe we have to spread the three hours throughout the day. But it's the consistency of it instead of saying, well, I'll just make 100 in one day or whatever the case may be. The consistency is successful. You know, I'll share a story with you. I went to a marketing uh, seminar one time uh, years ago with this was actually doing newspapers and things along those lines and this still works well as today they said for advertisers you're better off running a black and white eight one eighth of a page ad three days a week than you are running one full page color ad one day a week so again you're better off you're gonna get more return a one-eighth of a page black and white ad three days a week as opposed to one full page color ad one day a week because the consistency of it, the consistency of it, people will see it more often, right? And you'll get more out of it. So same concept applies here. It's the consistency of it. You're better off making 20 contacts a day five days a week as opposed to one day making 100 contacts, okay? So keep that in mind too, to do something every single day, not try to make up for it later, okay? So think about that. Do something. Even if it's a little bit, a little bit adds up. And even if you have to spread it out throughout the day, don't just give up on it and say, well, I can't do all of it, so I'll do none of it. Do something. A little bit adds up because again, you're either getting better or you're getting worse. You're not staying neutral, okay? It's up to you to do that, all right? That's your three things Thursday for the week. Please subscribe to my channel so you get all my videos usually a couple a week. I hope you have a great week and I look forward to speaking to you again next week.